on our desktop we have the icon for our PLX PMS administrator. As well we have here uh, the icon for our Micros PMS system. Uh, we are now starting here the interface. So we have now here a test interface which is directly communicating with our PBX. So our PBX must be informed on which IP address and which port this micros interface is listening. So we need at first to see our P Windows PC here has the IP 10.0.0.10 and it's listening here on port 5010. We can connect at first now with our PBLX admin to the MySQL database of the PBX. The PBX is located on the 10. 0.51. We just now click OK and we are now connected. So you see the FIAS communication is waiting for connection. We need to set and save the PMS configuration first. So we have already here in the right IP. I press now the save button and if you uh, watch on the left side the Micros PMS interface system it will uh, establish the connection to our PBX. So now we are connected and online to our PMS system. The next thing or the first thing we have to do we need to set up rooms. So uh, we have only one room in our example. So this room is already here a standard in. We have a room number 101, the phone number 101 and uh, we can have uh, also rule numbers which are uh, with uh, letters and not only with uh, numbers so we can have A101 and so on. We have a room translation system inside so it can also be that we have multiple extensions in a room so we can for example define the room 101 twice for having a second phone in the room 101 with a different extension number. But let us be uh, it for the moment in this demo uh, one room th with the phone number 101. The next thing I have to do is now to apply account code to ex each extension. So what does it do? It is a uh, setting for each extension which is listed in this room translation table setting the account code of the room inside the extension. Let us go now to our extension 101. We go to 101 and we see now in the account code we have the room number inside which is in this case the same like the extension number. We apply the configuration settings and from now on if we do a call with the extension 101 all calls are recorded additional with the account code 101. So if we for example have in the room two extensions it doesn't matter which person uh, which phone will be used for doing the outbound call the charges will be transferred to the rec to the right room the same will happen with the room status equal which phone the roommate will use the room status will transfer for the right room so uh, next thing is uh, we go back to the general settings and we have uh, to set up our phone barring. This means we need to set phones depend on the class of service, service which Micros is sending us. For example, it's sending a CO0 in class of service 0. Then the phone can only make internal calls and the calls which are listed in this strings here. So we have a wizard for this. I select now the wizard and you see we have here our two routes which we have defined. The outbound route and the emergency route. We say now that on the emergency route needs to be available in all classes of services while the class of service 3 is only 
available, this means outbound calls, if class of service is set to 3. I press here the save button and now you will see here the things, the strings have changed through the wizard. So outbound is allowed here and emergency is allowed and national uh, class of service 0 till uh, 2, 2 are only for emergency calls. I press the save button and that's all. Now these class of services have been applied to our extension 101. Next thing is I like to explain you the call accounting manager. Our system is uh, able to ch calculate charges for each call. We will do this in this case for an example Germany. We have here at first then to apply 00, zero because if you dial from Germany to an international number you have to play, uh, use the 00, zero before you dial the country code. I press now apply 00, zero and you see here the country search strings will change. They have now a 00, zero instead uh, the 011. For Ger in Germany, we have uh, the country code 0049 as an international dial code. We press here also save. So an additional thing, if you do a call in Germany, inside Germany, for example you dial from Hamburg to Berlin, you don't not, do not do, uh, dial 004930, which where 30 is the city code of uh, Berlin, you dial 030. So uh, we need to make it matching to 0049, which we insert at the destination. We need to remove the first number, the zero. So what happens is now if we have a call which is uh, like 030, uh, then at first it removes the leading zero. We have only 30XXX. Uh, and then it inserts 0, 0, 0049 uh, before the C 3, 0. So the next thing is our communication info table. The communication info table is for maintenance purposes. It is recording all commands which are going to the property management, si management system and all commands commands which are received from the property management system. These commands on the left side are the received commands on the right side which have been sent. We go to the call detail table. We have here several additional fields. The auto field is a counter field which will be set automatically. Then we have our account code which I explained already. So if we, I dial out from a room, we have an account code in here. Uh, administrative phones don't have an account code. Then we have here the bill seconds and the charge and the clear text where the call has gone through, the unit, how much per minute, and the charge unit is uh, we can set in the call accounting manager here as well uh, other things like per minute. So, uh, to set how to set data inside the call accounting manager. The first thing is we need to set a global price. Let's say we set this global price to 3 euro. If I set this and click not use filter set all zones, all countries will apply it. Now we un check this button and let us set now Germany and set now here in charge of 50 cent and uh, the next thing uh, we will now set Germany mobile you see this is a filter system all Germany mobile prefixes will be searched from uh, the destination clear text we set to 70 Sent. So let's say we uh, use now Fran French, uh, France, and set there two euro, and set France mobile 
to two dollar fifty, uh, to two to two euro fifty. So, in this way, you can set then all countries like you like to have it. Now let's go in operation, and do at first now, in check in of a guest. This Micros Fidelio interface has an advantage. It has a simulation mode, but this is working only on room 101. I can now simulate with short keys uh, a check-in, for example. For this, I press in the Micros Fidelio interface, which is now highlighted, the Control F3 button. As you see, you see here now a new string. It is called GIRN101 GM Fidelio Mr. Micros GLE A GSN. This means we have a check in of a guest. A guest in room number 101, guest name Mr. Fidelio, guest lingu language English American, guest share I know. As you see, now this command has been received also in our PBX. This is only for maintenance. Normally this Windows software is not necessary, but it's perfectly now for demonstrating uh, what has happened in the PBX. We have had a guest in now. Now let's try to call from our room the reception and take a look on the, on the guest